12 minutes late? That's a new record. It's early days still. I know that new engine will beat Nick's record of the layabout. You really don't like him, do you? Absolutely not. He's only been here for a week and a half, and I've already had to cover his work a half a dozen times. What even is his name? Oh, some generic name. Alex, I think. The most lazy engine I've ever met. Where is that Nick? Abe called out in frustration, and as if on cue, Nick sauntered in from the big station. Somebody missed me. Hardly. Where have you been? Oh, uh, well, it's the new engine. He broke down on the crossover. It took nearly 20 minutes to get someone to shove him out of the way. Mmm, we better keep a very close eye on him then. Me, he doesn't seem very trustworthy. A great Marcus, he's still up that way now. Keep a lookout and be careful. When have you known me not to be? Marcus's head was filled with worries about this new engine. His antics seemed to be ominous at best. He arrived at the next station to see the troublemakers sitting next to the water tower. Marcus left the coaches at the platform and arrived at the sheds. He pulled up next to the rowdy engine who was yelling at the workmen. Just leave me alone. I work so hard. I deserve a nice long rest. You hardly work at all. I've seen you lying about in the shed more than I've seen you in your front of a train. Who are you to poke your funnel in my business? It doesn't matter, just know that the last engine who was even half as lazy as you was used as target practice by the army. Humph. I doubt it. This place needs all the engine power it can get. Tanks full, let's get a move on. Alright, don't do anything stupid. As Marcus pulled away, Alex scoffed. He didn't believe the controller would actually do something to him. He was sorely mistaken. The next time any of the other engines saw Alex, it was in front of a freight train. The engine had a look of silence on his face. He came home that night and scurried immediately into the sheds. Did you see how he tore down the line? Ah, yes, very reckless. The youngster's gonna have an accident at this rate. Ruin the good name of our railway we've built up for all these years. Presently, the controller of the young railway walked up to the three engines. Marcus, I have a very important duty for you. Cars filled with explosives need to be expertly moved from the factories in the north of the junction near the Connecticut border. I trust you'll make easy work of it. Of course, sir. You can count on me. Excellent. They'll be waiting at 10.30 tomorrow. 10.30 dawned foggy with light rain filling the air. Marcus was waiting at a signal just outside the big station to continue his delicate journey. At the big station, Nick's patience with Alex was gone. You moron, you need to go carefully, especially in this weather. I can't even with you. And he stormed off. That silly engine with his fancy British design. The tea drinking snob. I'll go when I want to and when I want to is now. Marcus was still waiting at a signal for a slow moving coal train to pass across. He could swear he heard the sound of two engines. Strange. The coal train only has one in. Marcus, look! 